Soon we're back at the village gate. A little relieved to be back in civilization, though I do miss the rampant nudity. I don't! But that's just because I have to deal with the fucking YouTube censorship bullshit. Finally. I wasn't expecting to spend all day in those woods again. Notice he's out of breath. Damn it, was he putting on a brave face all day? Given what he went through, he should have spent the day resting up. Feeling guilty, we stroll through the streets of this humble village. They are thick with the smell of home cooking. First things first, we deliver the goods. Before I know it, we're back at Petra's place. I knock on the door, and we're let in by Mrs. Klein. I don't remember Mrs. Klein's voice. There you two are. Goodness, you love to give the good doctor his scare, don't you? What time is it? He angrily points at the grandfather clock with, oh, with a ladle. 5 p.m. Time flies! <laughs> she bonks it with a metal spoon and heads upstairs to fetch Petra. Strange, it doesn't feel like we were gone that long. At least the hard part's over. Now we can just relax. He smiles, tail wagging side to side. Mrs. Klein shuffles down the stairs, holding her apron so she doesn't trip. Where is she? Apologies, she's preoccupied at the moment. Give the items to me and I'll bring them to her. We nod and hand her the various plants we'd collected. With a huff, she, the maid, runs back up the stairs. So it's not just her patients who have to suffer. At least we'll never have to worry about gaining weight. After a few minutes later, she returns, completely out of breath. <sighs> she sends her thanks, and I return <laughs> payments. She hands us an envelope with a shaky hand, and I carefully take it from her. You boys need anything else? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Klein. I need a refill on this coffee, please! Of course, one moment. Glimpse over to the kitchen and we shut the door, unable to watch this cruelty play out any longer. I hope she gets paid well. Speaking of... Tugs on the envelope and I pop it open, dumping the contents into his eager hands. Cascade of small golden coins pour out with a satisfying jingle. Feels like we really did fulfill some Arthurian quest. Money, money, money. How much is it? Well, let's see. He counts each one, eyebrow raising as the number rises. That much? She gave us 40 marks! Woohoo! Is that a lot? I was certain that a single Reichmark was worth less than a penny. <laughs> that foolish elk doesn't realize what he's given up. Hello. Hero. And this is twice as much as I'm- Hero! Fringe is in pain, those giant ears lying flat against his head. Yes, yes, I heard you. This is quite a lot of money, Gray. How does it fare against the gold standard? Uh... Thinks for a moment, snapping his fingers once he finds an answer. How much did a loaf of bread cost where you're from? Uh, about eight cents, give or take. Well, this is enough to buy 160 breads. America is poorer than I thought. What? That sounds way off. I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm more excited at the prospect of finally having some money to my name. Yeah, you definitely are missing something. <laughs> Two wars. <laughs> Jesus. Adjusted for a local currency, we could buy one bread per mark. So that'd be a waste if you ask me. I wouldn't mind buying something to eat, I'm famished. Grabs his little tummy and nods in agreement. Let's get some sausages. There's a vendor in the market who makes them fresh. Mmm, broadwurst. My favorite traditional barbecue item aside from a good old fashioned hot dog. What are we waiting for? Come on! Oh, wow. Some stone buildings in this ramshackle town? That is surprising. 
We scurry down to the marketplace and follow our noses to a cart manned by a mangy looking mutt. One each. We nod eagerly. Onions and peppers. With more energetic nodding. Mustard. Our heads are about to fly off their hinges. Alright, she's going as fast as I can. He hands our food. He hands us our food and Hero slides him a few coins. I can't wait any longer. I take a bite and I feel the snap. The grilled sausage against my teeth, filling my mouth with the smoky, greasy flavor. <laughs> I was munching away next to me, mustard all over his whiskers. Cuisine. The cuisine of this land continues to amaze me. America is full of German inspired food, but it's nothing like the real thing. Yes, I've heard from the locals that many families immigrated overseas. They speak about America as if it's a place of legend. A land of opportunity or something, and yeah, it's not all sunshine and roses. He stuffs the last half of the sandwich down his gullet and swallows, sighing in satisfaction. Few things are, but who cares? We have money! <laughs> Oh yeah! That's exactly what you want to yell out in a town full of people who would probably mug you. Finish my sandwich, commemorating it with a burp. Now what? Stop the brainstorm, leaning against the wall with a, of a dilapidated house. Oh! Uh, no. Uh, what? No, it's silly. Ah! Uh, come on, tell me. Well turns away, raising his tail like a barrier. Remember what we talked about last night? About going camping? I bristles with excitement and I start to smile. Yeah? Just thought it could be fun to actually do it. Together. I'd love to! He perks up, lowering his defenses. Really? You're not just saying that? No way! I think it'd be a lot of fun! Honest! Between you and Atri, we'd be set for... Oh. You wanted to bring him, huh? That makes sense. I just thought... Oh. He meant just us two. Fuck. I didn't mean it that way. I, I'd be just as happy keeping it between you and I. It's fine. I should've... I guess I should've... It's fine. I guess I... Clarified that. That elk has grown on me, like I said. You sweet. Yes. But. Digging his heels in the dirt. Say what's on your mind, I'll hear you out. We don't have a lot of privacy staying at Petra's, and even today we are still around Atri and that Ram fellow, and. The only time you and I spent together was while I was barely conscious, not to mention before you could properly communicate. Uh, so yes, I'd like to spend some time just getting to know you. No intrusions or prying eyes. What do you say? I pat him on the head and he cocks his brow. I'd be honored. I'm sorry if it felt like I haven't been giving you my full attention. And your whole you had your own life before I got here, and I don't really know where I fit into it. I'm still figuring out how I even got here. But I think it's clear that I should stick with you. Ray. He bops me in the belly, accidentally knocking the wind out of me. Save the sentimentality for your deathbed, Gray. Right now we need to focus on getting supplies. Right. He switches gears so fast. So, where should we start? The survivalist, cult the survivalist culture in this country is quite different from Japan, so I've been taking notes on what we'll need. He whips out another journal from his tool belt, a myriad of bookmarks and other notes jutting out from between its pages. Essentially, we'll need to tackle four categories. Food, shelter, warmth, and gear. Uh-huh. That certainly sounds about right. The food part is flexible. If we pick the right spot, we can simply catch fish for our meals. 
but that isn't always dependable, so we'll have to pack some non-perishable foods as well. We can probably get some canned g- f- f- We can probably get some canned goods and soda crackers. Oh, and uh, canteens for clean water. Soba cracker? <laughs> well, I'll let you pick those then. <laughs> Noodle cracker, what the hell? <laughs> Check something off his list. Alright, next. Shelter will probably be the priciest item. We'll need a sturdy tent that can withstand wind and rain. Preferably animal hide. What about waterproof fabric? Huh? Eh? Huh? They even have something so fancy here. We'll have to find a tannery. In addition, we'll need a tent pole with some pegs. In addition, we'll need a tent pole and some pegs to secure it. I can probably put those together myself with some scrap metal from the junkyard. You think Atri would be able to do it? Possibly, but if he finds out about our trip, he'll likely want to come along. Uh, true. Well, we can handle that last then. <laughs> Next is warmth. Do you... Next is warmth. Do you mean blankets? He shakes his head. No, that falls under gear. We'll need a way to start fire. You said you know how to start one, right? Yes, but my method was born out of desperation. We have we have access to proper tools here, so we should start take We have proper we have access to proper tools here, so we should take advantage of them. If we could get our hands on some kerosene or gasoline, it would only take seconds to start a proper campfire. Do they sell it here? I haven't seen it. So we have to wait until a shipment comes into town and pay for to siphon some from their vehicle. Hmm. How often do they make deliveries? Once a week, usually on Mondays. The next scheduled delivery should be in two days. Alright. We'll have to put some cash aside for that. <laughs> Last but not least, Hero smiles deviously. Yes, my favorite category gear there's so many strange and esoteric tools and devices one could buy for such an occasion this is why i'll need you to be in charge of funds can't contain yourself it's difficult we didn't have such high quality items available in my village however i have managed to boil down my wish list to only a few essentials Clears his throat, ready to rattle off his demands. Apart from my normal tools, we'll need a fishing rod and a cleaning kit, two canteens, a pot for boiling drinking water, an extra cot, binoculars, and a first aid kit. That sounds like a lot, even with our current funds. Yes, I know. I'm willing to do extra work to get what we need. It wouldn't be the first time I've used the bartering system. His eyes glaze over for a second before returning to their usual intensity. What the hell does that mean? And I don't want to autofill because my autofill in these situations usually autofill with the worst possible implication, and I don't want that to be the case in this particular situation! I'll do my part as well. I think we're in the same boat. <laughs> you too? Don't be sad. We survived, didn't we? He nods, his expression still somber. God, yeah, that confirms it pretty much. Fucking A. We did. Slaps his cheeks a few times, shaking away the bad thoughts. Ah, alright, we have our list. Let's grab some of the easy stuff now. Pardon me, really hopes we're talking about two different kinds of survival, but the world is a cruel place. Like I told Atri before, strength doesn't have to come from suffering. Remember that VN creators and other people making new fiction? You don't have to put your fucking characters through TORTURE to make us like them! Hero. Those thoughts stew in the back of my mind as we shop around town. Most places were beginning to close up shop as the sun set behind the trees, but we were able to secure some basic items. 
The canteens, pot, and bedroll ran us about 10 marks, so I seriously doubt we'll be able to get everything we need. Maybe we could cut back a little. The gear alone will probably break the bank. We'll have to find a way to get the rest through trade or favors. Yeah, I guess. The wind is gone from his sails. Hey, it's not all bad. Besides, you probably made do with less, right? We can have fun with even without a fancy tent. Eh, perhaps. He stretches and yawns, his little tongue peeking out. But for now, we should head back home. It's been a long day. Yeah, I could use some rest. Lead the way. We loop around and cut through an unpaved road, arriving at the alley next to Petra's apartment. Before we can even knock, the door opens. Uh, oh! There you two are. You missed dinner. We eat outside. No worry. Hmm. <laughs> Come in then. <laughs> they are cool. They have some problems, as most people do in this era, but they are cool. We sit to take off our shoes in the foyer. She wa she watches over us, and I feel like they have done something wrong. What? You left the village. Yes. Again, what? Your instructions were to rest and let your stitches heal. It only takes a few days. It only takes a few days for the wounds to scab. You couldn't even wait that long. He wanted to help Adrian and I with his task. He wouldn't have even been able to. F we wouldn't have even been able to find everything without his help. That's irrelevant. What good are the supplies if I have to use them to heal you all over again? Hero sustained no injury. Need to check. No, I believe you. Next time, tell me so I don't have to worry. Sending a search party into those woods would be a huge waste of time and energy. Hero will consider. The tension in the air is palpable. I try to break the ice. So, uh, what's for dinner? <laughs> or what was for dinner? Well, uh, what was for dinner, yeah. People came for you while you were gone, from the airship. Ah, oh, exclamation points. Or holds his breath, waiting for her to continue. They wanted to know when you would be able to come back to work. And uh, did you tell them? What do you think? I told them my patient is in no condition to perform labor of any sort for the next four weeks and sent them on their way. Honestly, those jackals couldn't even wait a day. Surely they could find someone to... Oh, hell. I'm gonna watch fucking Hero's expression, like, watch. Four weeks and sent them on their way. Boom! And then... Boom! You bitch! <laughs> Holy hell! And Petra's eyes went... went vertical. Are we about to get kicked out? Oh, hell. If you recall, if Hero's out for too long, they're gonna get fired. Which is... You know, unfortunately the state of things... I wanna say back then, but it's also unfortunately the state of things in a lot of places nowadays, too. His fists are shaking with rage. I've never seen him like this. Who are you to get in way of Hero Chav? Who are you to speak on Hero behalf? Who am I? I'm the one treating you for free, you ungrateful whelp! What kind of doctor would I be to willingly send you into an early crave? Stop being a brat and think about this logically! Oh no, no! That it is too far! This hero life, not for you to decide! Hero, not your child! Hisses through his fangs. Hero, 
Um, uh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. You. Wow. That's fucked. Damn. Every. That's. Jesus fucking Christ. Petra got fucking that that struck Petra in a place right there. You can see that on Petra's face. Even Gray's like, you fucking you could you said that? Hero not replacement. God damn, man. You be saying that shit. Oof. Oof. God damn. How oh, dare. Oh god. Physical logic. Ah! Doubles over clutching his chest. What's wrong? He laughs to himself morbidly, replying to me in Japanese. Just up the stitch, that's all. Nothing that requires her help. Uh, yeah, it does. A small spot of blood forms on his shirt and he pulls down his goggles, sniffling back tears. No, God, God, this Jesus fuck. Petra, you won't understand what I'm about to say, but know this: I refuse any further medical care from you from this day onward. It's ridiculous. Don't be crazy. Who else is gonna help heal you? What did he just say? Tell me. I don't care. I can't live like this anymore. Hero. Pushes off me, struggling to unlock the door with his free hand. Please reconsider, she just wants to help! Gray! Door creaks open. Don't wait up. WAIT! Slams the door behind him. This is a mess. Idiot! Look towards Petra, expecting her to resume her usual smug nature. She falters, almost falling to her knees if Mrs. Klein didn't catch her. I was just trying to... Damn it. Hero! I run after him. Not letting either of them off the hook. Sunset faster than I expected and the streets are paved in shadow. Only the shining dots of open windows guide my way. Hero! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please come back. Where are you? Where are you now? Where are you? I hear a few yells to shut up and ignore them. Where would he have ran off to? Soon there's no more town to even check. Reach the outskirts of the village. Unable to see through the darkness past a certain point. It's no use! Slumped down against an abandoned shack. Why am I acting like I know anything about him? Here doesn't owe me anything. Shouldn't be meddling in his affairs more than I already have. Petra shouldn't have meddled in his affairs, even if it was out of concern. Whoa, hey! I Frito one elote. That's, that's a subscribe. Thank you very much. Get the acknowledgments that you did it while I was recording. Thank you. <laughs> You get the shout out. <laughs> you did what I was recording. Thank you. <laughs> that was cool. I should have taken our advice seriously. They're more alike than they'd care to admit. Too prideful to ever apologize. Getting caught up in other people's drama again, eh, Gray? Sounds like me. My self-pity is interrupted by a soft sob coming from around the corner. Hero? I'm answered by a familiar sniffle. Do you want to be left alone? I don't know. Do whatever you want. Okay. You say nothing for a few minutes. My chest feels tight. Holy fuck, that's a lot of stars in the goddamn sky. Jesus fucking A. 
Sorry, that just caught me by goddamn surprise there. I haven't felt like this since me and Ed broke up. Those all-night screaming matches that pushed our emotions to their limit. And then, when we finally ran out of energy and gave up on hating each other, we did brace and make love like nothing happened. It never felt good, but it was better than feeling nothing. He clears his throat, breaking the dead silence. Hmm? His voice breaks. You can sit with me? Okay. I peek around the corner to see him sitting on what used to be a front porch. The awning has been eaten away by time, revealing a sky full of stars. He's staring out at them wistfully, his shoes sitting next to him. Hey. He doesn't look at me, patting behind him instead. Sit. I do. I have a lot to say. You see how Petra treats me, right? Like a child? Always needing to know where I'm going, controlling what I do and what I eat. I'm butting her nose into my work. Mm -hmm. I could put up with all of that. Really, I could. That's the kind of person she is. But to hear you take her side after seeing how capable I was. It feels like you'll always see me as a victim. Some helpless invalid who can't do anything by himself. I don't think that. I know you don't, but it feels that way to me. It feels real. And it fucks with my head. I don't want to second guess my friends. You and Petra think that laying in bed for a month and letting nature take its course is what's best for me, but you don't know me at all. If I don't do anything for even a day, work, uh, learn, make something of myself, I feel like I'm dying inside. You never just want to relax? He sighs. I don't expect you to understand how my mind works. I, I hardly do. But please, if you want to be my friend, respect my wishes. I shake my head. Even if it means you'll get hurt, that you can die, people don't die so easily. Hero, please, Cray, don't make me beg. Whoa, whoa, holy fuck. I'm just gonna look at this for a second. That's a whole lot of shit going on here. Damn. Golly gee willikers, Batman. That's a lot of fucked up stuff that I'm kind of seeing. Fuck. Please. Oh, well, if I'd have just cut to the next one, we'd see it clearly. God damn. Whoa. Big ol' handprint. Fuck. Something changes. Shifts. The ground is cold and metal, and a harsh wind is whipping my body. Something creaks underneath us. I open my mouth to speak, but no sound comes out. My body is frozen in place. Why won't you look at me? Hero! Hero! My vision detaches from my body, zooming over the edge in slow motion. Please, please, please. No, this, this can't be. Gray! 
Huh? Back. They sweat. His arms are wrapped around my shaking body and I can move again. What? Happened? Where did you go? What happened? I don't... I don't know. It felt so real. Was that the air? But... Arrow would... Never. He headbutts me. Ow! Don't scare me like that, damn it! I could say the same! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put all this on you. It's not your problem. I don't remember why I came here in the first place and tried to pick up where we left off. No! You're my friend. I can't see it. I can't stand to see you suffer like this. I sit up, refocusing. And yeah, it was easy for me to take Petra's side. She's the doctor. She knows better than I do. Not to mention no other doctors can treat you without finding out about your secret. Fair. Hmm. And above all that, you're my friend. I'm going to listen to you over her every time. Wipes a stray tear from his eye. Promise? Promises are serious. I know. Promise. I warned you. Gosh. From now on, we treat each other like equals. Nobody is more able-bodied or qualified than the other. Deal? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> you kidding me? Hero's way more qualified and <laughs> capable than Grey, you fuck. Deal? He nods, overjoyed that he reached me. I'm so glad. Thank you for listening. You said you chose me. I should have known all along you had my best interests in mind. I hug him back, careful not to do any more damage. Ready to go back? Mm. There's one thing I want to do first. Hmm? I blink and his lips are pressed against mine. Oh my my. Without hesitation, I... Gently return his advances. It's a soft kiss, the kind you give at the end of a first date. He holds it for a few seconds before pulling back. Thank you for accepting me. The real me. It was never up for debate. You'll always be the same hero to me. He smiles, uh, that's a blush warming his face. He puts his boots back on and hops off the edge to the ground below. Feel about a vertigo, still shaking about that hallucination. Careful! Uh, it's only a few inches. Sorry. Uh, ignore me. We slink back to the apartment. Nero suggests we head straight to our room, and I'm inclined to agree. Petra strikes me as the apologizes with a bowl of fruit in the morning type of doting mother. There's no use in talking it out when the hurt is still fresh. Mrs. Klein lets us in, shaking her head at Hero, who ignores her. We do our best to sneak up the stairs despite the house being dead quiet. Somehow we made it to the second floor and I breathe a sigh of relief. Come, we're almost there. Got it. As we creep around the next set of steps, I notice the door to Petra's office is cracked open. The light of the moon briefly illuminates her face, solemn and staring into the darkness. She brings a glass of something clear to her lips and takes it like a shot. Gray! Coming! We practically run up the remaining stairs and get to the safety of his room. 
Gently closes the door behind us, keeping the knob turned so it doesn't click shut. That was close. Just glad we can finally relax. The clock downstairs read 11 p.m. and I'm ready to call it a night. I'm gonna get ready for bed, that okay with you? He answers me with a yawn, smacking his gums a few times for nodding. Yeah, I'm bushed. Um... What's wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm just used to changing alone. But it's alright if it's you. I can still turn around if you want. If you don't mind. Sorry, this'll take getting used to. You're fine. Just let me know when you're done. I simply remove my shirt and suspenders, wait and wait for the signal. His pants require some not work, but after a few minutes he taps my shoulders. Done. Thanks. Of course. We can only get naked in front of each other so many times in one day. <laughs> Are we fulfilling some sort of quota? Feels like it lately. <laughs> yeah, the... It, Fucking feels like it. In our PJs and ready for sleep, we turn the lights back off and get cozy in his cot. Seems to like being a little spoon, and that suits me just fine. He's smart enough to put his tail between us this time, so there isn't any more bumps in the night. The events of the day race through my head. Things around here are more complicated than I expected. The rules of the forest, Atri's friendship with that strange ram, Hero and Petra's turbulent relationship. Hero in general. I wonder what's happening to the others. Mark, Gabe, Ken. Are their worlds nearly as dangerous, as complex? Can I really save Hero like that voice instructed and save him from what? If that vision was any sort of hint, I need to keep Hero away from that airship for as long as possible. Yeah, I don't see that happening without a struggle. I'll have to find a way to bring it up to him tomorrow. For now, I feel sleep taking over. Dots. A lot of dots. Hey, it's the morning. Wow. There's- it's, this is just gonna keep fucking going. I'm woken up by a fuzzy arm brushing against my face. <laughs> Cough. Bleh. Morning. Crisscrossed over each other, tangled in a nest of limbs and sheets. My tail is still asleep. My whiskers got bent. <laughs> we giggle, managing to untangle ourselves and sit up on the bed. Yawn. I just leave, buddy. Pretty well. You? I shrug, rubbing sleep from my eyes. Good, but I feel like I could always use more sleep, no matter how much I get. I don't know. I wake up full of energy, even if I barely sleep. I'm immensely jealous. Hmm. Smell that? His little brown nose sniffs the air. Coffee? My beloved. I like the way Petra makes it. His eyes flutter, recalling the events of last night. Where she's from, they use cold water and let it steep for a long time. It reminds me of the barley tea my grandma used to drink. He holds his knees close to his chest. Do you know what you're going to say to her? He shakes his head. Deep down, I still don't feel like I need to apologize. But it might make things easier for us if I do. You can always put the blame on me if you have to. She already doesn't like me. He swats at me. He's serious. I don't know. A fake apology can turn into an honest one in time. Yeah. He hops off the bed and stretches, holding his chest with one hand. Alright, let's get this over with so we can eat breakfast. That's the spirit. Like most things in life, food is the ultimate motivator. I toss my shirt back on and we head down the stairs following my nose to the kitchen. Before we hit the second landing, I can already hear someone talking in the foyer. 
I don't know who could be here so early. Now, let's listen in. Oh, that's... That's just an uncomfortable fucking... I just... I don't like that. Like kids trying to catch Santa Claus. We creep down the stairs until we're close enough to spy through the pegs of the handrail. Honestly, don't you people have anything better to do than harass my patient? Ooh. I already told the bird you sent yesterday that he needs time to heal. Do you need to see him bleed out with your own eyes to realize he isn't ready yet? She's doing it again. I need to stop her. Hey, let's wait up. Come um, now, ma'am. You know it ain't that simple for us. That voice again. As far as your little patient's concern, these here deadlines are written in stone. Ain't nobody else on the team able to work the engine the way Yada Hero. Yada Hero. Jesus. Yada Hero can. Yasa Hero. And you. And you will call me Doctor, not Ma'am. Understood? I didn't know she could speak English so well. That's right, I heard him speak even before the Todd spell. He laughs, his belt jingling with each shake. You know, I never could understand why a broad like you would decide to throw away your God-given right to keep your mouth shut and just live off a man's money. Jesus fucking hell. What are those? Pants? Disgraceful. Fucking Jesus Christ. It's laughable how fucking stupid that is. I've had enough of you. Remove yourself from my sight immediately or I'll all your what? Then they barges through the door causing Petra to double back a few steps. Oh fuck. Something floods the room and I have to squint to see, but... Oh no. Is he playing his day now? My worst fears realized. Tim. Sam's father. What a twisty turn. This makes no sense. It this makes no goddamn sense. I had just enough of your lip, missy. Show me where you're keeping him before I had to gear up with you. He looks even younger than how I remember him. I'd love to see you try, you beast! This is bad. What should we do? He died when I was 20. So, I would have seen him when he was around 60. Gray? Look at him now. He could be older than his mid-30s. I thought he would have sent a great... I thought... I had only been sent a great distance from home, but it, could, could it be that... It shakes me free from my thoughts. Look, the staff! Huh? The Blinken seniors surrounded by Mrs. Klein and the kitchen crew all holding pots and pans. Did you think you could just waltz in here and make demands of me without any authority? Huh. So you're with your salt after all. I bet Barlow would get a kick out of seeing our old gal as feisty as his old lady. Barlow. Ten to one, this is that's Gray's dad's name. Because we've got a fucking pause screen here. Yep. We got shaken, shaken voice, shaken breath here. Temperature drops hearing that name again after so many years. But know this, if his little, uh, cause he's fucking Asian, it's, I, that's a little too close to home. If his little ass ain't back at that ship by this time next week, he's fired! No contract, no money, no nothing! Fuck, I can't let this happen! He opens his mouth to shout and I cover it without even thinking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Hold him firmly in place so we can't make a scene. Please, don't hate me. Pull him back up the stairs with me to the safety of the second floor. He's kicking and screaming into my arms. Gears are streaming down my face. Can't let him see me. There's no telling what would happen. That mad rabbit has sent me back in time. 
before my own birth. And the door finally closed and the staff murmuring to themselves. Ooh, timeline. Ray's father pulls out of the Zeppelin project. Yep. We got 1895. Sam Sr. was born in the winter of 1862. Jesus. That's fucking nuts, man. It's fucking nuts. So many things coming together. I claws at my arm and I let him go, struggling to breathe. Why would you do that? I could have stopped him now, picture what? Gray? Went back onto the bedroom and collapsed on the cot, wrapping his blanket around myself without a word. Hey. Hey. Talk to me. Please. Bad, Yero. This is really fucking bad. What happened? Do you know Mr. Dawson? I nod. So it wasn't just a coincidence that you're. I nod before he can finish. I see. It isn't supposed to be like this. He rubs my back, trying to calm me down. What happened? You'd never believe me. I barely believe me. Now you need to trust me. Tell me what's happening. Does this have anything to do with that golden place you mentioned yesterday? I choke back the tears and do my best to recount everything that led me here. I tell him about meeting Virgil in New Orleans, the feeling of being killed and brought back to life. Then how I met him and the others in that magical place before it was all taken away from us. How I had to choose. Once I finish, I sit in silence, chewing my lip, waiting for his response. Oh boy. That is a lot to digest. But what you're basically trying to tell me is... This is the past for you? I nod. How far back? 33 years. So, before you were even born? You weren't kidding. This is hard to accept. I didn't expect you to. I wouldn't believe it if it didn't happen to me. Then... Who is Mr. Dawson to you? What does he become that frightens you so much? He was my best friend's father. And my father's business partner. I wasn't around him very much. But he was always a monster to his sons. We all got a bad feeling when he came around. Sam never told me directly, but I hold myself gripping my shirt tightly. It couldn't have been easy. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. He stands up, staring off to the side. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I don't think you're acting, and I don't think you're acting right now. I believe you. Thank God. This certainly complicates things. Not to mention Petra continues to meddle. <sighs> Kicks the wall in frustration. Damn it! Something falls out of a bag and hits the ground with a loud metal clang, making us both jump. Oh, oh, is it a MacGuffin? What's that? Oh, just a pot we purchased yesterday. Where the sentence is finished, he's already grinning. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, no, it's too, that would just be too perfect, wouldn't it? Eh, turns to me a crazed look in his eye. 
I know exactly what we should do. Uh-huh. He squats down next to me as for bristling with manic energy. They have a fascinating expression in this country. To kill two birds with one stone. We'll plan our camping trip, but in reality, we'll go to the ship. What? Are, are you insane? <sighs> it's perfect. She won't think to look for us, and we'll have the cover of the forest. And once I'm back at work, she won't be able to drag me back. But if you get hurt again, how about me? All you have to do is see me off. I don't expect you to want to stick around, given your history with the boss. Is it even history if I haven't even been born yet? Hero, this is absolutely nutty. I can't agree to this. His expression shifts, eyelids low. Didn't you say you'd keep my best interests in mind? To a certain extent. Gray, I won't let anything happen to you. We'll arm ourselves if necessary. This doesn't feel right. Please, can't we? He shushes me a creepy smile across his face. Don't worry. We'll still get to go camping. I wouldn't lie to you about that. But I need to get back to work. It's killing me to stay here. I'm going to die. Let me die doing what makes me happy. No! I'm not letting you or anyone die! Then I guess you have to come with me, because I'm going, whether you want me to or not. I'm gonna strangle him! This is manipulation at its finest! Do I even have a choice? Maybe this is what you were sent here to do. Or maybe prevent! Only one way to find out. Come on, I'll go get the list. He gets up to go rummage through his pack, and I'm left empty as a shell. And things were going so well, too. Oh. Oh, hey! This is back in New Orleans. Dots. From Christine. More dots. Ooh, crumpled. And there's Deba. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Jaws coming down out there, ain't it? Dots. Needle line. Oh, it's the fucking killer! Or... The person who was hired? Or, we don't really know this person's story, we just know people are scared. Hmm. So that's gonna be an interesting person to put into this story. <laughs> now ain't that a friendly face. What can I do for you, Sir? To be continued. Man, what a place to leave off. Bringing things a little more close together, a lot of the elements uh, seemed a little more estranged, getting a little more connected. I appreciate that. And overall, I just, I really fucking like Hero. And, uh,. I don't know. I, I'm gonna try to warm up to the Fae stuff, but, uh, it doesn't seem to be the main thing, so we'll see. But, uh, overall, I'm just gonna keep seeing where it goes, because this game is yet to lead me astray. A little, little questionable choices a couple of times, and by that I literally mean I question what they're doing. And I look forward to finding out what the answer is. Uh, <laughs> but that's just gonna come with time. So, yeah. 
I look forward to seeing where it goes. And until next time, thank you all very much for watching. I've been Vivian Jade, the Train Up Professional. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And until next time, thank you. Uh, have a nice day. Bye, everybody. Bye.